for the 1st till the 7th of May. Oh, wow, isn't that beautiful? We're going into a new month. We are already in Taurus. Remember, be careful of the Mercury retrograde, signing official papers, and with electrical and mechanical things. Whoa, and the eclipse season has started. So this is a major shift. Okay, you come in with the magician. So magic is in the air. This means that you hold the key to your life's force and your life's path and choices, of course. So use that key and open the door to positivity and close the door to negativity. Also, keep things transparent and clear. As the magician is the large, biggest uh, illusionist uh, in the world or the universe rather so don't create any illusions then you won't have disillusions or disappointments the magician represents Aries and Gemini so there could be a prominent Gemini around you or could be coming into your life the same for Aries or it can uh, it can mean people but it can also be that the magic or the results will come uh, around the 21st of May when we go into Gemini so I think it's more it's a bit far away but I still think that magic is in the air and that you can start doing something because it's also number one uh, by beginning preparations and perhaps you might need to plan something so that you can get it done after Mercury retrograde perhaps in Gemini time also that you have the throat chakra so Say what you need to say. Say what you're going to do and do what you say. So keep it clear and transparent for people around you. You also have Mercury, the planet Mercury here, and that means communication. Communication is of essence, but remember, if you are talking or debating or uh, going to meetings, don't sign any papers until after the 15th when Mercury goes direct, as we are in Mercury retrograde. So communicate clearly and you'll be fine. There is a new beginning and um, there is, uh, this new beginning will be advantageous. Now it's the major arcana. I have all the resources I need, inner and outer, like I said all your talents, all your gifts, all your um, uh, um, tools you have to make magic happen. You also have, that's the overall energy. You also have the world. What I have been working for is um, already done. So something is, in other words, there is an ending, completion. Where there is an ending, there's a new beginning. What goes round comes round. What goes up must come down. Remember that the world uh, means exactly that. There's an end of a face. You can see the joint here and something is coming together. In other decks, it is the snake that eats itself. There's a whole mythological story behind it. Now, the world also means that you could um, meet or there could be a prominent person around you like a Taurus, a Leo, a Scorpio or an Aquarius. You also have the sign of Saturn and Saturn stands for responsibility and discipline. You need to be uh, straightforward with yourself. Don't be all over the show. Like I said, keep things transparent and clear. So make your decision, set your boundaries and be more disciplined and take responsibility for your decisions that you're taking. You're the magician, so make that magic happen. Make Saturn work in your favor. Also, you could be going on holiday or moving home. If you're selling a home, yes, you will sell your home. You've got nothing but yeses. So this week will be an absolutely positive week. 21 becomes a three. Uh, production and creativity um, you must uh, you've got the root chakra here so um, clamp yourself down you earth yourself um, so use your root chakra to make you more down to earth 
stay with two feet on the ground. But success and victory is yours as you are balancing. You are in balance, in other words. You've got nothing to hide because look at this lady, she's naked. Only she's got a, a shawl to cover her private parts. But she's bare chest, so she's got nothing to hide. So speak your mind. Don't keep everything... Um, don't play your cards too close to your t t chest be open also um, you could be going on to the next level in work or in romance getting engaged married starting a family finding out you're pregnant or um, expanding the family with a baby or a domestic pet you could also be traveling for work with um, and then after that you will hear that you have a promotion or there will be expansion if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions if you're too mature then you could hear of one a pregnancy or a birth uh, an in, uh, in investment is also a project is also your baby now in midweek you've got the um, third eye chakra okay so the third eye that is the uh, eye of the mind try to see things with a different perspective also see things that uh, that are non-existent so um, how can i explain it when you sit down meditate or contemplate with your eyes closed with music and letting it take that quality time out to think about it uh, evaluate it as well you can see in the mind's eye uh, sometimes colors or pictures perhaps in your dreams so you might be dreaming more so let the subconscious come into the conscious you've also got the moon that means listen to your intuition also your instincts and feelings premonitions you could be having premonitions you've got the high priestess that represents Pisces and Cancer so you could be meeting somebody else here you're all open and you've got nothing to hide she's the one that's mysterious usually with that one I say play your cards close to your chest so with the black and white like the black and white pillars there is a new beginning coming so it's confirming the world and the world is confirming the uh, new beginning the uh, archway that is given by the cosmos or the divine now also um, you could enhance your uh, esoteric wisdom or knowledge in this time or perhaps you might be seeking a spiritual guidance of some kind or perhaps discovering the truth because she's secret secrets could be coming out that is also with the planet moon the answer is yes at the end of the week you've got the four of cups so be alert on what is happening around you not just in front of you this also card um, represents depression or being stuck in your mind or not feeling very uh, active as you can see somebody sitting on their laurels don't get into your head don't get uh, overthink things I know it's difficult when you are in difficult situations where you have to make decisions and choices but come on stay active don't sit on your laurels the world will pass you by and you won't even see the opportunity that is on offer so be alert in all senses especially the spiritual senses like intuition now you've also got uh, the moon here so you've got the moon twice and you've got the sun here so it's telling me that you are being noticed the sun is shining on you you are on the spotlight but with the spotlight there's also illumination you need to do research in order to get the facts and figures or the answer that is being hidden from you so don't get depressed stay alert and you'll see the offer or the opportunity coming in also we at the weekend we have the six of cups you're more than halfway in a situation or a project now like I said the Sun is shining on you you've got the throat chakra twice this is the heart chakra 
So open your heart. Open your heart to receive love and all the goodness. Protect yourself. Your uh, solar plex. You haven't got the solar plex or the emotional chakra uh, in your reading, but I'm still saying open your chakra. I usually say open your solar plex, your mind. Definitely your mind and your heart because of the heart chakra so that you are conscious of what is happening around you to let the three L's in love, laughter and life enjoy life to the full you could be reminiscing about the past that's okay but so long you let go of the old Taurus no, you're not Taurus, you're Aquarius sorry, I've got Taurus on the brain here because of May <laughs> sorry about that anyway, I'm only human like I said, you could be reminiscing about the past, learn from the past, let go of negativity to make room for the new beginning that's coming in. There are several new beginnings, so you could be standing for a choice or decisions. The magician is number one, the archway is number two, and the world is also a new beginning. Something major is going to happen because of the world. The world is big, but yet so small. So there's major change coming in and you are balanced because you've got the six here and you've got the world, which also means balance. This card represents um, um, Scorpio. Uh, so, so that's the sun in Scorpio. If we were near the month of Scorpio, then, uh, I, uh, then I could say, yep, that's going to happen at that and that time. But as it is now, you are in the sunshine and a, Merc uh, a Scorpio could come into your life or is prominently in your life. Somebody could be coming back from the past. This could be that Scorpio and bringing you a gift. This can also be if somebody has borrowed money from you, they could be coming back and giving you a gift and paying the money back at the same time that you lent them. Now, we are talking about money. We have pennies from heaven. Your angels placed lucky coins in your path before you to remind you of your worth, your gifts and your value. 21 is a 3. Again, you've got two 21s. So the angels are definitely showing you um, that they are leaving messages behind. Also the archway. The double twos. So watch out for double twos and the two twenty ones or the two threes. Now, if your inquiry today is regarding financial matters, then this is indeed a very fortunate card for you. You deserve heaven's help and your angels are giving attention and energy to your situation. So that's the angel message. Then we've got a message from heaven. I love these cards. They fell literally into my lap. I never knew they existed. It was my time to go. That is what a person is letting you know. You, okay, you've got footsteps in the sand, but they haven't got the body anymore, but they want you to know that they are next to you. You remember you're never alone. You've got your ancestors, you've got your guardian angels, you've got the archangels, and you've got the divine with you. It was my time to go, and I believe this is a man. Now, even if I reach one or two people here with this message, because it's a general message, nothing really specifically one-on-one, -on -one, it's totally different, because there's also a lot more energies around here, but this, I've got at least two people, um, and they're both men. One was old, very old, around the 70s, 80s, if not older, and the other one was middle-aged. And they're saying, it was my time to go. I fulfilled my life lessons, but I'm still with you. I don't have the pain anymore. One had something to do with the brain and the other with the chest. So whoever it is please do let me know if you have received this message know that I'm not in pain anymore you don't have to be sad or feel guilty because it's not 
nothing to do with you. It was my time to go. I'm happy and I'm okay. I'm here now learning from this side from what I did in, the, in my last earthly life. So make sure that you make magic happen uh, and make your life to the full because life is magical but when you're over here you have no more pain but you have to go through your life's experience because you have to work through the negative and the positive in order to enhance your spirituality. I hope this is, has um, a good resonation with somebody if not two people take care stay safe and know that you are not and never alone